Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today we're going to look at the Anko gaming mics from Kmart. If you saw last week's episode you'll see I've picked up a few things from the IT section in Kmart recently. The other thing I picked up was this Anko gaming microphone. Unlike the keyboards and mouses it doesn't have lots of bright flashing LEDs but it is a good solid microphone if you want to record yourself. This mic simply plugs in to a USB port with a micro USB connector on the back of the microphone and it's a good quality meter and a half long cable by the look of it. From there it just appears in Windows or whatever operating system you're using as a standard microphone. I did some testing with it and all round it sounds like a pretty good mic. The manual recommends using it from a distance of about 15 centimeters or 6 inches but I found for me who is fairly quietly spoken that a distance of about 10 centimeters or 4 inches work better. It will depend on what you're trying to record and what sort of sound you're looking for. Some uses I can see for this microphone are game streaming, video conferencing, song or instrument recording or podcasting. I mean it's not a professional mic and doesn't compare with something like the Yeti but it costs $25 and not $200. I can't actually find this particular model on the Kmart website anymore. I can only find this $15 one which has a 3.5mm audio output cable instead of the USB cable and this $39 setup which seems to use the same mic but also has a movable desk boom mount, a windsock, a pop screen and a shock absorbing mounting. I'd like to try this one but it's currently out of stock although it does say back online soon on the website. Mind you it's said that for the last two to three weeks but we can always hope. The other thing this mic has is a headphone output which would be useful if you want to listen to yourself as you're recording and a volume control for it. I didn't actually test this because it's not something I would use. If you have need of a decent desktop mic on a little stand like this and you don't want to spend the likes of $200 this is a really good microphone for you. If the professional one with the arm comes available again I'd definitely go for that one and hopefully I will and review it soon. In case you're wondering no I did not use this microphone for recording this episode. A because I wanted to be able to hold it up for you but also I have a Tackstar shotgun mic that is mounted to the camera so it's about a meter away which works much better in my situation. When I set up a live streaming setup I will probably use this one or the professional one on the boom if I can get that. Question of the day, do you need a decent microphone? Do you think this one will work for you? Let me know in the comments down below and if you found this useful please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys and fix it when it breaks. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before here and here and you can click the subscribe button down here to follow me on YouTube or the mail icon up the top to join our mailing list. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next episode.